Supergirl Season 6 Episode 14, titled Magical Thinking, and this episode I found to be alright. I thought this episode was fine mainly because I understood what they were trying to do here. I understand what they were trying to accomplish with this episode, and that is simply this. They wanted a situation where I can, this Team Supergirl, had a situation where, hey, National City is in trouble, no shit Sherlock, it, National City has always been in trouble since episode 1, series 1, right? But, they're in now a situation where they have to, to save the day, there's a chance of whiss. A chance that citizens might get hurt, or the worst might, it might get, like, there's not a 100% chance that everything's going to go back the way it was, or everything goes back to honky dory. And... In, in a way, they kind of abuse their power in, in a type of way, right? Um, means, you know, justify the means, you know, that whole thing. But the problem here is, because the story they, they want to tell with Mixie, like, Mixie, I have to say this, isn't that well, not appealing, but it's just not that well interesting of a character. And definitely not as your, this is your final season, you need to get your big bad, who's your big bad? Mixie, who is uh, sitting in a ship all day, and she's like, Oh, there's a, a, a totem, I'm going to grab that said totem. Again, her whole thing, she wants uh, vengeance, she wants, she wants avenge for her family who put her in the fans design, I understand the whole thing. But in the greatest themes of things, like, like, I don't need a physical threat every time, and I, I assume there'll be some point where, like, You'll have Kara fighting Mixie in a big giant ma massive fight in like, in episode 19 or 20. But, because of her not being that pair, and even the, the whole quest aspect of things, is like, now things are picking up to speed, now it feels like you, the story is moving its momentum, but episode 13, episode, you know, 12, 13 and 14, you know, now it's starting to pick it up. It just, it doesn't feel earned, that's the thing. It doesn't feel earned. And it doesn't feel this situation of like, yes, National City is going on riots and they're attacking each other uncontrollably and all that. Yes. But it doesn't feel earned. It doesn't feel like this situation is enough to have us feel, oh shit, you're in this situation. Even having Kyla going, I don't know what to do. I listen, I know I'm all, uh, you know, all about hope and optimism and see the good in people and all that kind of stuff, but I just don't know what to do, and if that's the only option available, fuck it, we're gonna do it. And, and that, I mean, okay, so there's that aspect of things. We all know what my opinion is on the whole, and like, you know, Lena and Luther, it turns out her family is a bunch of wizards and witches. And I'm like, you know, could she just be the science nut? But of course, the science nut could be easily just, isn't that what Brainy is? But, so let's make her Hermione Granger, or her, the actress's character for Merlin. I. Like, I get it, she's learning a spell, and she's stuffing up, and all, this, all that kind of stuff. And you're going to have a couple of scenes where her, like, Lena's going to say, say to certain characters, I don't know, I, I don't think I can do it, I don't think, I, don't think I, I can do it. And all it needed was one scene. And it's the, stuff, it's the scene between William and her. And talking about, hey, don't think technically, just like, just say the words. Say the words, don't think, like, don't overthink it, pretty much. And, and here's the thing, the stuff with William, I actually quite like. I like the concept of him being, like, the lowest lane of the super friends. I mean, if you think about it, if people don't know the comics or that, anytime, like, a superhero, any mo member of the Justice League, gets reported by, like, a, here's an exclusive interview with Superman or something, or here's an exclusive interview with Green Lantern or Flash or whatever. It's the reporter or who's asking the question is Lois Lane. So I, I kind of like the idea, and of course, it's a, a neat way. And, and also, it's, it, he's finally 
growing some confidence to stand up to his to to his, to his boss and all that. So I quite like that. But that speech was enough, and have her have that confidence, that um, the confidence, the momentum, and her able to do the spell. Um, it's just. It's just this episode had its ideas, it had it's just how it plays. And I get why they did a couple of things. Two, we need extra five minutes, we need extra two minutes. Because it needs to be forty two minutes long. Sometimes it doesn't need to be forty two minutes long. If you go to a screen service, some episodes are forty minutes, some episodes are fifty minutes, sometimes an hour long, some episodes are thirty minutes. It depends on the episode and the story you're telling in said episode. But again, you know, Super goes on the CW, which has commercials, so any point commercial breaks to 40 minutes is a good time for commercial breaks. But anyway, but yeah, this episode was fine. Good. Dandy. Let's, like, good for the love of Christ, this story's getting some momentum so we don't have a completely sour note final season that we can finally get some big crescendo thing that we were you know, probably hoping to get from episode 